Hello guys, uh, today we will create image inspired by Star Wars. As you can see, I have opened two libraries. One library is um, my Adobe Stock library and another library from a Pixel Squid uh, that come library. I love um, Pixel uh, Squid. Um, I love my library from um, pixelsquid.com because it's already uh, uh, ready to use a 3D object. Uh, and if you know me, you know that I'm a very uh, huge fan of Adobe Stack. So uh, we will work with both libraries today. I will be using um, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 latest version. I am a Creative Cloud subscriber and I will be using my Wacom tablet as usual. So I have opened uh, previously created document with transparent background. And first of all, I will bring um, in a uh, background from Adobe Stock. So I can resize, I can do anything I want to with this background. Click OK. And also I downloaded um, Millennium Falcon from uh, Pixel Squid. Let's bring this 3D object into our document. Uh, I will be able to rotate this document, this uh, 3D object. Let's see. And I will be able to see preview live in real time. Probably like this. Let's see or maybe like that. Let's see. Definitely not like that. Let me move. I would like to see a little window in here. And also I want to rotate. Probably something like that. Also, I will be uh, resize my 3D object using free transform tool. I can make it bigger or smaller, depend on uh, what I want to do. Also, I would like to change some. Uh, yes, something like that. Yes, I like it. Also, I have um, Planet from uh, downloaded from pixelsquid.com. But first of all, I would like to uh, highlight my background layer because I would like to bring Planet behind my uh, Millennium Falcon. So. I highlighted my background layer and I will bring my planet. I don't want to uh, rotate my plane probably, but anyways, I will check it out. Yes, something like that. And because uh, we are using Photoshop differently, I can resize, I can change position, I can um, mask out some parts of my um, planet. Let's see. First of all, let's reposition my planet and f using free transform, we change the um, size of my planet. Click OK. And I will apply layer mask right now uh, using um, brush with black color on it. I will um, bring my uh, size of my uh, brush up and I will erase. To be sure what I'm doing, I will resize my image, my document, and also I will bring down opacity of my layer. In that way, I will be able to, to see uh, my background. So let me erase. How simple is it, guys? If I paint, if I will paint out more um, parts of my planet than I want to, I will change color of my brush to white and I will paint back. So let me see. I will change, bring opacity back to 100% and I will fix my background image to make it more uh, natural looking. Let me do like this. It's much better it will be. 
and now I will be painting out uh, parts of my background. Spend time, uh, don't rush. Make sure that you're not missing any part, any pixels of your image, because it's very important. Just a few seconds, more seconds. Yes, let me uh, zoom out my image and we will see. Yes. Also, I can change color of my plant. Let me duplicate first, just in case. I will use Vibrance. No. Probably something like that. Or if I would like to see more contrast in my image, I will um, uh, leave uh, my color of my plant as it is. But if I would like to have something more uh, with more quiet <laughs> tone colors, I will be probably bringing my vibrance, a saturation of my vibrance down slightly. Something like that. Click OK. But now we can see that we have. Uh, imagine, guys, if we will have so bright um, planet, definitely a planet will spread um, its own light everywhere. So we need to highlight our um, sky in a little bit of our rocks. But first of all, I would like to work on. Uh, my uh, Millennium Falcon. So what I would like to do, um, I would like to add more uh, blue light coming out from uh, those windows. But you know guys, I decided uh, to start working on my background first. So what I can do, I will uh, work with adjustment layers and I will I will be applying adjustments as um, separate layer because in that way I can uh, change um, parameters uh, parameters of my adjustments layers at any time I want to. So first of all, I will um, change exposure. As you can see, guys, I'm applying adjustments layer um, to my background and I'm not applying adjustments layers to my Millennium Falcon. Just because I highlighted my um, planet and in that way, uh, I will have apply adjustments on top of uh, all those layers. All layers below my Falcon, Millennium Falcon. Let me see. Yes, also uh, we need to apply um, bright color to our um, sky. So let's do and check uh, color lookup, full color, change opacity to zero, we'll see. As you can see guys, um, when we are applying adjustments as a separate layer, adjustments applying as uh, a layer with mask. So what I can do, I will change I will bring my brush, simple brush tool. No, I'm sorry. I will um, use gradient tool and I will paint out uh, all colors from my adjustment layer, except uh, parts of my image where I would like to apply co warm colors. Kind of a light spreading out of our planet. And I will duplicate this adjustment layer. Yes, and that way I'm having more uh, beautiful uh, color. What I will do now, now I would like to work on my um, Millennium Falcon. I would like to apply more color on it. 
but what I will do right now, I will select my Millennium Falcon and I will bring uh, exposure uh, adjustment layer. And uh, do not forget, guys, to click on this uh, square. Um, if you will uh, click on this square, adjustment layer will be applying only on the layer below. So in that way, it will be applying only on my um, Falcon Millennium. I mean, Millennium Falcon, I'm sorry, guys. And because one part of our Millennium Falcon close to planet, definitely we need, we would like to uh, highlight that side of our Millennium Falcon. And I will use a gradient tool, just like that. I will change opacity, bring opacity down to 24 and just like that. Also definitely I would like to bring, um, uh, apply um, color uh, which is coming out from our planet to my Millennium Falcon and I will bring color lookup adjustment layer with full colors. And using a um, gradient tool, I will erase part of my adjustment layer. Also, probably I will uh, bring uh, another exposure adjustment layer and I will just make my uh, Millennium Falcon darker, just like that. And now, uh, what I can do, I will click on my Millennium Falcon. I will zoom in. And I will apply blue light coming out of uh, Millennium Falcon's uh, window, all windows. How can I do it? I can do it in many ways. And first of all, I will create new layer. And using um, brush tool, simple brush tool with um, blue color, I will just slightly paint. Don't be scared, guys, it will be good. Okay, now I will change um, blending mode. Let's see what we will what will work best. Overlay, soft light, uh, maybe lighting. Let's see. Don't afraid of experimenting. It's always good. So I like kind of uh, overlay. And now, guys, I will um, merge all visible layers. Just let me check the last time. Yes, I like what I'm seeing. So flatten image. In that way, uh, Photoshop uh, will uh, delete all um, layers uh, which we didn't use. I will duplicate my layer. I will zoom in. And using Dutch tool, I will just um, highlight uh, windows. I will change range to, um, let me see, mid-tones. Yes. How cool is it? And we have our very bright windows. Also, we can um, highlight another part of our image if we want to, um, because we are having um, very light, uh, wind, bright windows. Uh, don't forget about um, 
lightning on our Millennium Falcon. So I will use uh, Dutch tool and I will bring exposure down to four. Let's start with it. I will change range to shadows. Just slightly. And I will bring exposure up to 19. Let's see. Yes. Probably I will change range to mid tones. Let's see. Yes, mid tones. Beautiful. Just like that. Let me zoom out. Yes. Do we need to highlight any other parts of our um, Millennium Falcon? Oh, why not? But um, don't forget to change exposure to, uh, to 5. We can start from um, exposure 5%. Just not to overdo it. Just slightly. Just something like that. Let me see. This is before, this is after. Definitely much better. Can we add anything else? Definitely, yes, we can go on and go on, but um, it's a sh very short tutorial. And uh, just let me try the last one. Um, the last thing, uh, probably I would like to add um, curves adjustment. And again, guys, because I applied adjustment layer, uh, adjustments um, as a separate layer, I can bring opacity down of this layer. So it is opacity equals zero. Let me bring up something like that. And guys, our image is ready. I used Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 latest version because I'm a Creative Cloud subscriber. I uh, used image from Adobe Stock and I used a 3D object from uh, pixelsquid.com. Thank you guys and I will see you later.